Welcome to our Danish church. Peace be with you. Today is the second Sunday in Advent. Det er anden søndag i Advent i dag, og vi skal tænde to lys i Adventskransen. Advent means that now it's time to get ready for Christmas. And most people are so busy here before Christmas. But this year, I think a lot of us have a little more time to reflect and stop and pause and ponder about what Advent really means. And here in our church, we just light one candle at the time. Advent is not about hurrying. We're not in a rush. Advent is so much more than stressful shopping and getting ready. Advent is also the time to rejoice, to reflect, and to pray. And this morning, we have received a special Christmas card. Our first Christmas card today is from jazz singer, Linda sent us, and she sends us a special Christmas greeting. Good morning, my Danish friends. It has been a while since I've performed in your beautiful church. I'm very happy to do so today, virtually, um, at the request of Pastor Rasmussen. I will sing two Catalan carols for you today. Catalonia is in the northeast part of Spain. The first one I will sing is called The Son of Mary, and the second is Frozen December.
Thank you, Linda. We are so much looking forward to you coming back here in our church, playing for us. Now, music is a special tradition at Christmas time, but of course, lots of people have other uh, traditions in their own home. There are lots of ways of getting ready for Christmas. One very Danish tradition is the woven Christmas heart, julehjertet. Julehjertet was cut and woven uh, by a very own fairy tale writer and so much more, H.C. Andersen. He cut the very first Christmas heart. And the woven heart has become a beautiful symbol of how God, on a starry night in Bethlehem, has woven his life into ours. Today, we have received yet another special Christmas greeting. It's a Christmas card from Ida and Robert Taylor. And they will tell us all about how they get ready for Christmas, and they will introduce us to some of their special Christmas traditions. Now, let's go visit Ida and Robert. Hi, and welcome to our home, where Jesus is the reason for the season. I'm Rob. And I'm Ida Taylor. My parents immigrated from Denmark in 1952, and there are four children. We were all born in BC and raised with Danish traditions. My traditions are more from my mom's side, the Ukrainian side. We have two Christmases each year. We had the North American Christmas, and we had the Orthodox Christmas. So you had lots of presents. Yes. <laughs> um, we've been married for 43 years, and for most of those years we hosted uh, both of our families for Christmas. And um, that task has now been taken over by a niece and nephew, and they have two little girls, and they would prefer to be at home for, for Christmas, so we're really quite happy about that. We all share in the uh, cooking the menu, and it's very varied because we have vegans, vegetarians, meat eaters. I usually do a Danish pork roast. And then we have other Danish and Ukrainian dishes we do. When I was growing up, my dad always said that if there was room on the floor, you were welcome to stay overnight. And we have tried to keep that tradition within our home so that people that have a need a place or, or want to be with, with somebody during the season or any time are always welcome. We have a number of traditions that uh, we keep for Christmas. One of them is decorating our Christmas tree. Which we've had for 43 years. Um, so we're going to be doing that shortly. Uh, initially we would be making our ornaments with whoever was gathered here and then we ended up with far too many ornaments. <laughs> so we stopped that. Um, but we do have dated ornaments for each of the years that we've been married, and if we travel to Denmark um, or somewhere else at Christmas time or in the year, we will bring back an ornament for Christmas. And the other thing that we have is a Christmas dish set that we bring out for uh, the month of December. 
and I was introduced to the whole almond in, in the porridge uh, tradition. And that was great for the first few years, but after a while, because there was only two of us and, uh, and the family around at the time, uh, we tried to make sure that we did not get the almond because we didn't want to have to hand out the presents. Um, but Ida also made Stolen, um, the Danish Stolen, and my dad loved that. He would come in the door and say, where's the Stolen? And he would then proceed to eat it. Uh, Mom made butter tarts and pierogies and other things. Uh, one of the other traditions is the Ragnar Christmas pin Rob gets me, and this is the uh, this year's. We also do a Christmas puzzle during the holidays, and anyone who's with us gets to help with that. Uh, and then we also do Christmas stockings for anyone who's uh, spending the season with us. And Christmas stockings are very good on Christmas morning because after putting a puzzle together till late hours of the evening in the morning, it's uh, nice to just slowly wake up and slowly unwrap Christmas by so the stocking first in the morning. Uh, and the last tradition I'll mention is the fact that we do handmade Christmas cards, and we have for the past 20 years or so. Yep, I shoot the picture and mount it on the front of the card. Ida stamps it with a uh, saying that she's got, and then we ha write uh, them together. Which takes a long time because we do about 150 cards, but we know that, they, uh, that people enjoy them, so we'll keep doing them. It's important to have Christ as the center of this season for us. Christ is the focal point of and the reason for Christmas and uh, we are glad that he decided to enter our world as a baby. So we wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Traditions uh, important to us and we all have our own special Christmas traditions. Now the word itself tradition means to carry, carry something onward and when we carry old traditions with us we somehow connect the past and the present. Just like God on Christmas Eve, when he connected us with himself and has woven us into eternity. Now the Lord's words to us this second Sunday in Advent are words from the past, traditional words from the prophet Isaiah, good words that shed light on our present and bring us hope for the future. For unto us a child is born Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And now we have all heard it. So onward then. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lad os sammen bede vores fader vor. Let us all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glædelig anden søndag i Advent.